everybody. All right, in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to multiply rational expressions. All right, let's look at the first example. One thing that you have to know and remember is that when you are multiplying, the first thing you wanna do is check to see, can you factor any of the numerators or the denominators before you multiply? And in this case, I can. Let's look at that first fraction. In the numerator, I can factor this using GCF. The GCF between three and six will be three. And when I factor out of three, I'm left with X plus two. In the denominator, I can factor using the difference of two squares. <clears throat> and when I do that, I get X plus three and X minus three. In the numerator of the next fraction, I can factor out using GCF, and my GCF is four. When I factor out a four, I'm left with X plus three. And then in the denominator, I can also factor using GCF. And when I do that, my GCF will be six X. And then that'll leave me with X plus two in, the, in parentheses. Now, before I continue, I'm going to go ahead and find my excluded values. Just a reminder, your excluded values strictly come from your denominator. So basically, you're taking the root from each factor in your denominator. <clears throat> so if I set the x plus 3 equal to 0 and solve for x, I'll get negative 3. So that's my first excluded value. x cannot equal negative 3. And then the next one for this denominator will just be 3. Basically, I'm taking the opposite. X cannot equal 3. And then for 6X, when I set that equal to 0, I'm going to get 0 because 0 divided by anything is 0. So X cannot equal 0. And then the last one, X cannot equal negative 2. I'm just taking the opposite. All right, now I can get back to multiplying. So I'm going to multiply everything in my numerator straight across and everything in my denominator is straight across. So 3 times 4 gives me 12 in the numerator. And then I'm just going to write out the factors I have in my numerator next to each other. And I'll do the same thing in my denominator. But since I have an imaginary 1 right here times the 6x, it would just be 6x. And then I'll write out, write out all of my factors. All right, the last step with multiplying rational expressions is that after you finish multiplying straight across, you'll divide out any common factors that you see in the numerator and the denominator. So the common factor that I see in the numerator and the denominator that repeats is x plus 2 and x plus 2. So I'll go ahead and cancel those out. <coughs> and I also see an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. Remember, they have to be the same factor in the numerator and denominator. I don't see any more common factors. However, with the coefficients 12 divided by 6, 12 divided by 6 equals 2. And I'll write that in the numerator. I have nothing else left in my numerator, so 2 is just going to be up there. In my denominator, I have an x and an x minus 3 left. And that's it.